Hi, I'm Pat Arnoldison, Product Manager for Industrial Controls, Sensors, and Safety Products at Werner Electric Supply. Today, I'd like to take you step-by-step -step through the teach process for the Allen Bradley 42AF Background Reflection Sensor. First, I'm going to mount and wire the sensor so that it's powered up and ready to run when the teach process is complete. Next, I'm going to teach the 42AF a background target, which will act as a reflector would when it's being used with a retroreflective sensor. It's important that it's looking at a solid background. Now you can teach the sensor your specific application. First, the green LED should be on, indicating that the sensor is powered. The orange LED may or may not come on depending on if the sensor has been taught before. Don't worry about whether it came on or not. Next, press the teach button and hold it for three seconds and release. You should see the green LED go off and the orange LED begin to flash. The sensor has now learned the background. Press and release the button again. The green LED will come back on and the orange LED will shut off. You now have a working sensor that is using the background object as a reflector and should sense anything between the sensor and the background. Be aware that the background reflection sensor requires a minimum separation of 100 millimeters or about four inches from the taut background to the target in order to assure a good detection. So there may be some difficulty sensing small items and short sensing distances. The 42AF background reflection sensor also allows you to teach the sensor to function in light operate or dark operate. In case you're not familiar with these terms, light operate means that the sensor will turn on its output when the light is reflected back to it. And dark operate means that the sensor will turn on its output when no light is reflected back to it. Your application will determine which is correct. The factory default is light operate, but to toggle between light and dark, press and hold the button for six seconds. When the green LED begins to flash, release the button. You can now toggle between light and dark by pressing and releasing the button. When the orange LED is on, you are in light operate. When the orange LED is off, you are in dark operate. The sensor will save the last setting after 10 seconds of inaction. So once you have it set, leave it be for 10 seconds and the sensor will go back to run mode. Another option available with the 42AF is the ability to set the output type. The factory default is auto sensing PNP and PN, which is great for most applications because the sensor will determine what it needs to be based on what it's connected to. There are some applications where this feature in the sensor can get confused. For example, parallel wiring multiple sensors together or applications where the sensor power and output power are from different power supplies. For those applications, you can force the 42AF to be either NPN or PNP. To force the output type, press and hold the button for 12 seconds until the green and orange LEDs begin to flash together. Then release the button. You can now toggle from auto NPN to PNP by pressing and releasing the button to scroll through each option. Both LEDs flashing together indicates auto PNP NPN Green flashing indicates NPN and orange flashing indicates PNP. Once it is set, the sensor will save the settings after 10 seconds of inactivity, just like the light operate, dark operate setting. After 10 seconds, the sensor will save the setting and go into run mode. There's one final setting with the 42AF, which I'd like to demonstrate is how to disable the button. This ensures that what you have taught the sensor is not accidentally changed. To disable the button, push and release the button three times within three seconds. Both LEDs will flash together for three seconds to indicate that the button is locked. To unlock it, repeat the process, three presses in three seconds, and then the LEDs will flash together telling you it's unlocked again. If you have any questions about Allen Bradley's 42AF background reflection sensor, or would like more information, contact your local Werner Electric Supply representative.